Yo, what is going on everybody? Expert Gamer here bringing you guys my Dragon Ball Super Episode 6 review. Now, I would be saying go check out the Episode 5 review, but I was so disappointed with how Episode 5 turned out, but I just didn't even want to do a review on it, so we're just going to completely skip it, and here is Episode 6 review. Before we get into it, if you guys can, like always, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But without further ado, let's get into the episode 6 review. So, in my opinion, this is completely me. I think that this episode completely made up for episode 5. This episode had me on the edge of my seat. I love this episode so much. And when I first saw it, there was so much important dialogue that was going on, but there weren't any subs. So I was just like, fuck, when did the subs come out? And I just recently got done watching the subs. So basically I know everything that's happened now so I don't give you guys any false information but in the beginning of the episode Goku decided that he wants to stay on King Kai's planet and train to beat Beerus rather than going back on Earth and helping his friends when he arrives. And I don't think Goku's that worried because Vegeta's there and he knows that Beerus is coming so that gives him a little bit more time to train to come in in the later fights but that's pretty much all that happened on that standpoint but one of my favorite parts of the episode was right after that scene basically Vegeta is just mourning about how did Goku get beaten in two blows but I would be doing that too because like Goku's Goku but two blows and he didn't even get one good hit on Beerus but yeah he's all mad about that and Beerus and Whis arrive but that's not even the best part the best part is I don't know if Beerus got a new ability that we haven't seen yet, but this ability, I don't know how much it's gonna change, but this thing looks amazing. Basically, he was mocking Vegeta, and Vegeta charged him just cause he got mad. He pointed his finger at Vegeta, and Vegeta fell on the ground, and he was just completely paralyzed. So I have no clue how that ability works, I don't know if you can only use it against somebody who's really weaker than you. But there also was a flashback with King Vegeta, Kid Vegeta, and Whis. And basically their whole argument was Beerus wanted the most comfortable pillow in the entire universe. And King Vegeta kept the most comfortable one and gave Beerus the second most comfortable one. And basically Kid Vegeta was just watching his dad get beaten up by Beerus. And he comes out charging Beerus. Beerus looks at him. He falls to the ground and then he's just paralyzed. So I have no clue how that ability works, but I definitely want to see more of it because that could be an entire fight changer. And speaking of it, I actually just might make a video on that ability because we didn't see that in Battle of Gods, we didn't see it in Resurrection F, so like, what is it? And I could just be overhyping it and it's a move that we're just gonna see like once in the entire show and it was just right then and there, but you never know because that ability was pretty fucking strong. But aside from that, the next big thing that happens in the episode is that Trunks and Goten are running around the ship with squirt guns playing IRL Call of Duty, I don't fucking know. And they accidentally shoot Beerus with water. And if you guys didn't know, Beerus is a cat and cats fucking hate water. They hate getting water on them. So Beerus drops the food that he had, it actually like disintegrates. He drops it and it just completely vanishes. He floats up in the air and he's ready to kill everybody because he is pissed off. And Vegeta, trying to calm him down, jumps into the ocean, gets a huge octopus, and then he like, he uses his Gallic gun on it, takes one of the arms and starts cooking it, and then he gives the food to Beerus and that was able to calm Beerus down. So the earth is okay, but that's only for now. Cause next episode, that's the whole tangent with the Z Fighters fighting Beerus, but that's for a completely different review. So next part is, which is actually the last part, Majin Buu versus Beerus. Now, I thought that this was just gonna be a completely just, he hits him, Majin Buu's out. But no, they actually animated it like really nicely, so obviously, Whis is telling Beerus there's a dessert called Pudding, they want some, they go over to Hercule and Majin Buu sitting down. Majin Buu being like the fat ass he is, sticks his tongue all over, all over the pudding cups, does not want to share, and Beerus has like, I'll put a screenshot up on the video, Beerus has like a killer face, like, oh, okay, I'm going to fucking murder you now. But basically, 
Majin Buu just starts punching Beerus in the face. Beerus eats up every single hit, and on the last one, he grabs his fist, starts swinging him around. Like, I thought he was gonna turn to like a smoothie or some shit. Swings him around, throws him in the air, teleports, grabs him again. And then he says, like, I'm a friendly god, but the only thing that pisses me off is people who don't have any respect. And then he throws him out, shoots him with, I don't know what kind of key blast, just a key blast. And if you were watching this live, you would have honestly thought that Majin Buu had died in that point in time. That's how rough it looked, but we did see in the episode 7 preview that he was there, alive, still fighting beer, so he did not die, but that would have been a really cool plot twist to see, but I don't think in a thousand years they would have ever changed the movie that much, but it is possible, it is completely possible. So. That is pretty much everything that happened in episode 6, I'm pretty sure that I wrapped up all the important parts to gather out of it, so there is no episode 5 review, but do check out the episodes 1 through 4 review, those are pretty good, but episode 5, that, man, man, I'm kinda, ha but if you guys want my opinion on episode 5, I don't really mind that there was cruddy animation just for the sole purpose that it's something to remember. It spiced up this series a little bit. It gave us funny times on the internet, so why not? But please do not fuck up any more episodes. If I see Super Saiyan God Goku versus Beerus and Goku looks like a fucking noodle, I will kill myself. <laughs> No, that's too far, but yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you are new and would like to see more Dragon Ball or Pokemon content, but I'm going to slide out of here now. Peace out, everybody.